Hi, my name's Paul Grogan, and in this Gaming Rules video, I am not going to be teaching you how to play Mage Knight. Instead, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be showing you something which makes a great game even nicer, and that is the Quick Start box insert from Daedalus Productions. Now, let's have a look at what I've currently got in my Mage Knight box. So, in here, I have all of the expansions, uh, the base game and all of the expansions. So I've got uh, Mage Knight, I've got Lost Legion, I've got Krang and Shades of Tesla. For those people who don't know, Krang and Shades of Tesla was actually co-designed by myself and a friend of mine, Phil. Anyway, moving on, enough self-promotion. So everything is in Ziploc bags. Now, for those people who know me, I love Ziploc bags. Most of my games are in Ziploc bags and there's nothing wrong with Ziploc bags. They allow me to transport this game around everywhere and I don't lose anything, it's great. Doesn't look particularly pretty, but it's, it, it's fairly functional. However, the setup time, even with everything in Ziploc bags, can, for Mage Knight can still be quite some time. Although I've got everything for the Norowas character in here, you've got to take out all of the bits, put all the components in one place, put all of these in another place. I've got all of the enemy tokens in here, but you've got to subdivide them by type and pile them up by the side of the board. So it's fine, but it does mean that the setup time is quite a while. Now, with the new box insert from Daedalus Productions, not only does it look great, but it also makes the setup time a lot shorter. So, let's have a look at it. So, this is everything that comes in the bag. Now, it comes better than this. It, it came very well packaged, but when it arrived just before Christmas, I got really excited uh, and I started opening it all up and I even started um, punching out some of the bits from, from there. So yeah, it does come better than this, but this is pretty much how it arrives. Now, there are full instructions on how to put it together on the website, um, which I will be using later on. And it does suggest that you use wood glue as well to once you've put it together, you know, to make sure it's all firm and, uh, and, and goes together okay. So I'm gonna show you how to put together one of the pieces, and then I'll show you the final product later on. So before I show you the finished product, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to put together one of the pieces. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, there are full instructions on how you put together everything on the website. But to put together this piece, I, I didn't even need to look at the instructions because it was really intuitive. Now, all of these pieces came on one board. They all came in the same section. So that made it even easier. But also, I think the, the clever design, and Ben hasn't told me to say this, but I sort of worked it out myself, is that you can't really make a mistake. So if I show you how these clip together, for example, this, this was fairly obvious. Again, it, you can't, it, it's obvious you wouldn't do it that way because it doesn't line up. So that obviously goes in that way. And then the other end piece, it goes on like that. Now, if you were to try and put it on the other way, you'll notice that if I do put it on that way, it, it's all offset, it's all, it's all misaligned. So that's clearly not right. So that goes on like that, that goes on like that. That seemed fairly obvious. Let's just pop that in. Then the bottom piece, that clips on there. And as I said, you are supposed to use wood glue uh, when, you're, when you're putting it together to keep it all in place. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna do that. And there you go. There you go. So yeah, without wood glue, fairly stable construction. I mean, I'm gonna use wood glue anyway, but that just gives you an idea of how easy it is to put together. Now, I'm gonna go and catch up on some TV while putting the rest of it together and then join me later to see the finished product. So here's the finished product. This is the result of about one hour's work for me and Mrs. Rule spending some quality time together. And I wanted to show you it just before I put the components in, because as soon as we put it all in the box, we were like, yeah, that, that's pretty gorgeous. I'm a big fan of the dark wood, and I just wanted to show you what it was like, as I say, before I put the components in, this is what it looks like. And here is the finished product. So you can see I've got all the components in here and a couple of these trays are easily removable so you can see what's underneath it. This is probably my favorite part of this box set is this holder for the hex tiles here. So what happens is they all fit nicely in here uh, and they don't fall out because of this clever design here, but then you can obviously take them from the top. So at the start of the game, you will shuffle these, decide which ones you're gonna play with uh, and then you can just take from the pile as you go. So. That's that little bit, which I quite like. So you take that out and you, you would put that you know, on the table. Um, the other things as well is the card holder here. So let's just take this out. Again, you could take this out and it's labeled along the side here. So you could actually just 
you know, leave this by the side of the uh, of the table, uh, and then use this as the draw pile if you wanted to. I'd personally not do that. I'd actually put these as normal in piles by the side of the board. But keeping them in here is just so much quicker to set up than than having them all in Ziploc bags. And you just put them away in here as well in the right compartments. So that's that's that for all those cards. All of the characters go in here and there are the seven spaces for the seven characters, which is all of the ones in the game, including all of the expansions. The enemy tokens is the next bit. So let's just remove this bag where all the figures go. Uh, so these enemy tokens come in two separate trays. And again, oh, this is gonna save setup time so much easier. But also you can actually just put these by the side of the board and then just draw from the front whenever you need it. Obviously you wanna shuffle them before the start of the game. But here are all of the enemy tokens from all of the expansion sets so far. Uh, finally, underneath here, we've got the individual character tray. So each, each character has their own tray, which has got all of their bits in. Now, this is the only downside. Unfortunately, although there are now seven characters, there's only six trays. So one of the characters, unfortunately, has not got their own little box. So I've got Wolfhawk, a Ziploc bag. However, I did find a way that that slotted in. I just managed to get it in there like so. So everything still does go in the box. It's just poor Wolfhawk doesn't have their own character tray. Um, but that's it. So yeah, so that's, that's all of the bits. That's how it goes in. Let's see if I can remember how to put it in. Nope, that's not right. These go here. That goes around like that. They slide in there. That goes on there. The enemy trays go in here like that. This goes in there. The hexes go in there like so. That goes on top. All of your boards and all of your rule books will go on top and then the box lid and then you're done. So that's my walkthrough of the Mage Knight box insert from Daedalus Productions. Thanks very much for watching.